G'day, that's Slot Car Guy here, and welcome back to the Slot Car Review. And today I've got my hands on a brand that I've been hanging to test for you guys at home. It is mrslotcar.ca, mrslotcar.ca from Canada. It is Jaguar, it's the XJ220, and it's in the Calstra livery. You cannot go wrong. So stick around, let's do a full unboxing, full teardown, and let's take this puppy for a spin around my track. So welcome back to the Slot Car Review and I have got my hands on a Mr. Slot Car.ca Jaguar XJ220 of course. Mr. Slot Car.ca is from Canada and I have been hanging to test one of his cars on my track. Massive thank you to Armchair Racer because these are hot property. These sell out very, very quick. So I'm truly excited to get my hands on it, tear it down and get this around my track. And of course, I did say in my unboxing, I have already tested one of these at a friend's house on his beautiful track, and I was very, very impressed. So, let's get into it. MrSlotCar.ca, I really do like the box. I think the box looks good. It's got that digital grid look. I think it's it's old school, but, but new school. I think the way he's done his MrSlotCar.ca really stands out, the mix of red and white but of course inside there we have the xj220 one of my all-time favorite poster cars when i was a kid i've had the model cars i've had i think i even had an rc car when i was younger now i have it in slot car form but i do have the slot car in another brand but i cannot wait to test this one around the back we've got some information but what i really do like and i can't stop talking about it is these rims i love the rims and that blue center nut that really looks good so of course, as always, let's get stuck into it. Full unboxing, full teardown, and then of course, this thing is gonna do some laps around my track. So let's unbox the XJ220 by Mr. Slot Car.ca. And a quick apology, you're gonna see a lot of reflection on this car because I've had some lightage outages in my shed. So I'm running off minimal light. So if there isn't a reflection, I do apologize. But let's unbox this together because I believe there is a little something special that's gonna fall out. It made a lot of me, there it is. So we do have a bit of an extra bonus in here and I do like this, it's the MrSlotCar.ca card, the collector's card, because this is a limited number car. And on the other side is a picture of the car in a cartoon style. Looks like you're choosing a car from a video game. And of course, I've got number 80 out of 550. So keep in mind, these are limited and they do sell out very, very quick. So let's bring in the star of the show, of course, remove the case. It has been held in by a simple T-screw, which I don't mind that, nice and simple. And there is the Jag. I've got to be honest, in photos, I wasn't too sure, but now that it's in my hands, it actually does look very, very good. Let's start on the passenger side. Now we do have blue wheel nuts on the passenger side. On the driver side, if you take note, we do have red wheel nuts, but I think that looks incredible. I really, really like that. Around to the front, looks really good from the front i like the green it's been split up of course this is a calstral livery so if you are a calstral fan you'll understand the livery we've got calstral on the front car number 60 with the red line around the uh, air intake let's flip that around and have a look at the air intake itself there is a nice little gouge out there i think that's backfilled by plastic yes it is let's stick on the driver's side we do have what appears to be a full figure but i won't know until i do a tear down but it is very dark inside full interior we have a manual gear shift in there which is very rare for you millennials out there this is a manual car but one touch i do like is around the back the jag is sitting on a gray back base and it's quite shiny yes you can see my ring light uh, but i did have to show off how metallic that gray is finish off with those matte black style fins at the rear which from memory, that's what lifts up to reveal the motor. And of course, we've got the Dunlop uh, Insignia tires, which looks really, really good. Let's move around to the rear. Nice rear spoiler. It's quite a basic livery, but it works. It's a Calstra livery, it's timeless. And I do like how those exhaust pipes are popping out from the middle. So very, very nice. So there is the livery. Let's do a full teardown. Again, apologies for the light. I have had a light outage, so I'm running off just my ring light. Let's do a full tear down and then let's take this for some hot laps around my track so i've completed the tear down it took three screws only one at the front two at the rear but let's take a quick look inside the shell i am a stickler for active lights but there is no active lights but that's okay but this rear section i have to show off is finished beautifully that's where the exhaust po pokes through it's a nice silver and it appears that the figure itself has been shaved off along the leg so it's still a decent size cockpit very very nice shell let's move on to the star of the show which is this chassis and the box does say slotted inside so we're going to look at some slotted uh, internals here i believe flip it upside down 
Now let's start with this beautiful oversized guide, perfect for wood router tracks. And of course I run a Carrera track, so that's gonna be perfect for my track as well. Flip it back down the other side. Beautiful wire management running down these veins, negative and positive, down the side of the chassis itself, which is married up to an angle winder slotted flat six 20.5 thousand RPM motor from the details that I can find. Just in front of that motor is the bar magnet, which is removable, and that motor is married by an 11 tooth pinion and a 29 tooth gear. And of course, we are running aluminium rims. Now, I do like the rear section, this pops out nice and easy if you want to do a quick change, but other than that, it is quite uh, minimalistic. I do like it. I think it's going to go very well. And of course, we've got some adjustment screws here to float your chassis if need be and to remove and change. In regards to do, can we change it to an inline or a sidewinder, I'm not 100% sure, but if I do find out, I will put that in text. Rightio, the moment has come. Let's put it back together. Let's do five laps around my track and see how fast this puppy can go. So the verdict is in, how did Mr. Slotcar.ca's XJ220 perform around my track? Well, I completed five clean laps and the quickest lap I got was a 10.38, which isn't the quickest lap I've ever done. But if I'm being quite honest, this car felt really, really good. And I honestly can't wait to get it back on my track to try and get those times down. Do I recommend Mr. Slotcar.ca? 110% I do. It's got slotted internals. It actually feels like a solid car. Yes, my lap time isn't the quickest I've ever done, but I want to go back for more. And that's what I like about this hobby. Some cars, you just want to grab and keep taking them around the track. So a massive thank you to Armchair Racer who did get this for me. This car was hard for me to get. And of course, they are limited to run. This has only got 550 of them. So if you do want one, grab one. And yes, I do recommend Mr. Slotcar.ca and I cannot wait to try more of his range. But as always, at that slot car guy on Instagram and and YouTube. Thank you so much for your support. Have you guys got a Mr. Slot car, .ca car before this one or another type? Let me know in the comments. But as always, be safe, take care, support your local, support Armchair Racer. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my sleep. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my sleep.